Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, today we'll be going through W3. Actually, the whole W series, lah, the, the one with the old shell. The old, old W series. Okay, these are very old models, lah, 10 plus year. Okay, so the cable has already stiffened. This part breaks very easily. I mean, uh, even if it's not so old. So this set comes in for came in for MMCX mod. We'll just go through the steps. This is quite uh, rudimentary, not very difficult. Okay, so to open now, uh, we just take a look at this gap here. See this part? A fingernail that can go in. This is very easy to open. Just either use your fingernail or get something. Go one round. And it's going to uh, pop open. Okay, as you can see, uh, one side is done. Okay, but take note, uh, the shell sometimes very old already. So they are going to crack. Uh, just take note to glue them back when it's uh, done. Okay, so same for this side. If you cannot get leverage, uh, just put something in the, the rubber part and just turn. Use it as a lever. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, let me just introduce the parts. The parts first. We'll be using this kind of MM6, the round, short, flat one. Uh, we need enamel coated wires, so all these can be get can be get from the links uh, in the description uh. So we need four of those, color coded, so you know what is what. Okay, this is uh, epoxy, AB epoxy, so we just go to mix it now for the mod. Okay, uh, the first step we'll do, uh, we just prep the connectors first. This is actually a very simple mod, but I'll just show you the steps on how to connect the wires. After we are done mixing this, uh, we just uh, split them into two for the left and right. There will be leftover, so don't have to do a even job. Okay, we will start off by soldering the wires on. Okay, we have all the soldering guide, uh, so don't keep asking me uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, show this, show that. Only got one hand. You cannot do this and that together. Okay. But make sure you remember which color is your plus and minus. Okay, after you are done, just make sure that there's no short circuit. Okay, connector side done. Okay, for the IEM side, it's really simple. You try to remove the the strain relief. Okay, you see this circuit board lah. Okay, this one is only existing on uh, W3. The W4 doesn't have this. Okay, so we'll remove it. And you can see one of the soldering part pad is red in color. So the left side is red in color. So that tells us the left is the positive. So simply just unsolder them. And we solder on the connector. Okay, one side is almost done. We we'll go to the other side. Okay, yeah, we also need super glue for this. I'll just show you super glue process later. Same for here. The circuit board is the same. So we just remove, remove the circuit board itself carefully. Ah, uh, don't want to break the circuit board. Okay. 
Okay, same thing. The left side will be the positive. So what happened ah, uh, we are going to fold the circuit board back into the shell. So it's in originally this orientation. Just fold and let it stick down. Okay. So we want to manage the wires, uh, pull them back in. Something like that. Do the same for this side. Okay, at this point we will be preparing the glue, but first we will half the half of the the resin party lah, the epoxy party. Okay, we will place some of it here. And some of it on the other side. Okay, so you might need a needle also to remove the excess uh party okay so before we close them out we will just dab some super glue around the edges to let the shell stick because the shell is really uh easy to open up okay that gets some super glue so what we apply just pour use a needle uh, we we'll just run maybe on the bottom, just a bit, and at the front. The top part will be helped by epoxy, so no worries. Okay, so we will now fold the connector into the hole, and we'll close the whole shell up. So this part will color it black later. Okay, if you find that uh, the connector is not closing properly, you might need to enlarge the hole uh, slightly with a Dremel. But anyway, that's all. The mod is uh, very easy, so you can do it yourself. 